number of monkeypox cases continues to rise in the city. And now vaccine production is being ramped up to fight the outbreak. CBS 2's Alicia Reed here now with the latest. Alicia? Christine, nearly a million new doses of the vaccine will be distributed nationwide, and a good share of those doses will be heading to New York at a time when many want the disease to be renamed. Don't call it monkeypox. It has nothing to do with that name. The stigma over that label continues as the World Health Organization faces pressure to change the name as it is offensive to various communities. Meanwhile, the number of cases is expected to climb even higher over the coming days and weeks. 800,000 new doses of the Genios vaccine are being released nationwide. Starting tomorrow, the Department of Health and Human Services says 30,000 will be allocated to upstate New York and another 80,000 doses to the city. But Councilman Eric Botcher says the federal government may have missed the window of containment. They seem to be pushing vaccines out the door. But where were they two months ago when activists were crying out for them to get these vaccines out the door? The disease can be spread through skin-to-skin, -skin intimacy, or contact with clothes or linen. If you share a bed, if you share towels, if you share clothing, if you've had skin-to-skin -skin contact with somebody who is in your household, well, yes, you would be a high-risk exposure. With over two dozen cases in Connecticut, there are now 15 primary vaccination sites across the state. Health officials there say at this stage, outreach is critical. We have 800 doses that will be going out to people across the state starting Monday. And every single day, we will ramp that up as much as possible. In New Jersey, Governor Phil Murphy penned a letter to the Department of Health and Human Services requesting an increased supply, saying his state's current allocation is not enough, particularly for the dense portion of residents living close to New York City. Mm. HHS says the goal is to stay ahead of the virus. Those eligible for vaccination include people who are high risk or those who've had contact with an infected person within the last 14 days. Christine. Alicia, thank you.